Hey there, third graders. Now we're going to look at using repeated subtraction as our strategy for solving division problems. So we're going to look at the same word problem that we've already looked at. So we should get the same answer. We're just going to be focusing on the strategy here. So our word problem says Tim and Moby have 15 gold coins. They want to split them evenly among five people. How many gold coins will each person get? So in this word problem, we're looking for our dividend or our total and our divisor, which is either going to be the number of groups or the number in each group. So we know that our total is 15 gold coins. That's how many they have all together. Then we know that they're splitting them evenly, which tells us they're going to have equal groups among five people. Five people tells me that's the number of groups. So now we need to figure out how much each person will get. So to solve this problem, oh, I first need to write my number sentence. So 15 divided by 5 equals something. So to solve this, I'm going to use our strategy of repeated subtraction. And here's how we do repeated subtraction. Division is essentially repeated subtraction because we're repeatedly taking away equal groups until we have none left. Just like multiplication is essentially repeated addition, division is essentially repeated subtraction. So to use this strategy, we start with our total, our dividend. So we have 15 as our total. Now we're going to repeatedly subtract and we're going to repeatedly subtract the number that we have as our divisor. It's the number of groups. So we can think about it as giving one to each person. So we would be giving one to five people at a time. So we would be taking five away from our total at once. So we're going to do 15 minus five equals 10. Now, for my next subtraction sentence, I have to start with this number that I ended with. So I go 10 minus 5 equals 5. And I have to start with this number. Now I'm going to do 5 minus 5 equals 0. When I get to 0, that's how I know I'm done. Now I'm going to count the number of times I took 5 away. So I have actually, so I just changed my color so we can see that there's one, two, three times that I took five away, that I subtracted five. So I know that I have three in each group because each time we took away five, we gave one to each person. And if we did that three times, then everyone would have three. So our answer is equal to three gold coins for each person. My next step is to make sure that I put my work right here on my paper, and then I'm done with this slide. Now it's going to be your turn to use repeated subtraction and try out this strategy. So you have some practice problems and good luck.